So today I want to show you how to use Zelle on your Wells Fargo app. Now we're here on the main page of our Wells Fargo account and I'm going to want to go to the very bottom of the screen over here. You can see where it says pay and transfer. If we click right over here, there's going to give us a couple different options and we can actually see the Zelle option right over here towards the middle and it's purple. So obviously you can see the send, the request, and then your QR code. They do have some nice warnings up here, so keep that in mind when going through and sending or receiving money from Zelle. You can see your activities, recipients, and then your Zelle preferences. So if we click on Zelle preferences, right over here, you're gonna get your actual QR code, which of course is blurred out here for us. And then you're gonna be able to see where it says manage payment profiles and then manage recipients. If we click on manage payment profiles, this is actually gonna be where we can go ahead and have our email or our phone numbers attached to Zelle. Now, what this already does for us is if you have any emails or phone numbers attached to your Wells Fargo account, those are going to show not enrolled if they're not currently enrolled. And if they are, it'll be down here towards the enrolled section. You can actually go down here where it says update contact information to be able to change up your email address or your phone number. Now, of course, you do need to have verification with those. So if you add a new email, you're just going to have to get through to that email to be able to put in the confirmation to go through this process. Now, once that's all through, you can choose whichever option and you can technically have multiple uh, things on your Zelle. So for example, you can just be enrolled in an email here, but if you want an email and phone number, you can also do that as well. You just click whichever option you want or both. Now, if you want to send money to yourself from one bank to another that both use Zelle, something to keep in mind is that you cannot use the same email and or phone number for that account. So what you can do is you can have one with an email and the other one with your phone number or a secondary email that you have to send to yourself. Now we're going to go back here. Now, before we go back one more time, uh, we do also want to go to the manage recipients section here for a second. And right over here, we're going to see all of our current recipients that are available to us. If you see their names on the left hand side, you'll see their initials. And then if you see the little Z sign on there, that means they're officially already part of the Zelle account and that they have it registered with whatever bank they utilize. Now you can also send money to somebody who is not with that Zelle icon, they'll just have to go through a few extra little steps when receiving that money. Now, of course, you can search for somebody and then you can see the add button right over here. So if you click on add, it's going to have you put in that phone number or email address that they have associated. And then if it is a business, highly recommend that you check that box right over here. There is no fees for you sending money to a business. Keep that in mind. You can do their first name and then you can also do a last initial and then you can click on continue uh, right over here once that is highlighted. And then you can also see right here, you can uh, search from your contacts if you want to as well to make that a little bit faster. So now we went back to the screen here with that QR code and we're going to go back one more time here. All right. So now we're back here to the main page of our Zelle account. So like we talked about earlier, you can actually bring up a QR code if you're in front of somebody and you just want to have them scan it. So that way it jumps right to being able to get your contact information. You can also request this by putting in their email or phone number, but we're going to go ahead and send money here today with our Zelle account here. So we're going to click on send. So from right over here, you're going to see the recent section. So you can see people that you've sent money to before, all your recipients. You could also even scan to pay right over here or even add recipients over here in this section as well. So we're going to click the option of the person we want to send to. And from right over here, it is going to say double check your recipient. This is the person you're sending money to. This is their information uh, for like the email or phone number that you used. And then you're going to just have this little warning here for you. This is honestly just to protect you to make sure everything is going to be OK before going through the process and actually sending that money. Now, once everything looks good, if you scroll down towards the bottom here, you can see where it says, I'm sure this isn't a scam and I'd like to make this payment. So you can go ahead and check that box off right there. And then the continue button is highlighted. And then from right over here, you're going to see your recipient and then you can go ahead and plug in how much you want. So today we're going to go ahead and do five dollars and then it's going to ask you from which account you want to send it from. And then, of course, you can go ahead and add a memo. So we're going to click on pay from choose the account that we have on file right over here. And then once everything looks good, if we wanted to, again, add that memo, we can, but we're going to click on review. And one thing to keep in mind when we're going through this process is sometimes sending the money can take anywhere from just a couple of minutes to maybe 15 to 20 minutes to get that money to the other person. Usually if you already have contact with that person before, as far as sending money back and forth, it goes really, really quickly. If it's the first time, it tends to be a little bit slower on having that money received to the new person. We're going to go ahead and click on send. And again, it's just doing one last verification right over here. We're going to click on send one more time. And just just like that, our money is instantly pulled from our account and transferring over to the recipient. Now, I want you to keep on learning and growing when it comes to utilizing your money. So check out my video right over here on screen.